And we are now joined by the driver of the number 34 Front Row Motorsports Ford, Michael McDowell. Michael, how's it going? Um, You're coming from a busy Coca-Cola 600 right into the gateway here as the summer swing gets started. How's it going? Yeah, the summer swing is always fun. I look forward to it. But like, it's when everything kind of ramps up for us. I mean, that's really where our season turned around last year, and, and we've had some good runs leading up to it. Um, so we know that these next few weeks, it's time for us to uh, to get into victory lane and try to lock ourselves in the playoffs. Speaking of that, man, you obviously won at the Indianapolis Road Course last year. Um, what makes you so good at road courses? You've ran well at Sonoma in the past two. What, why are you so good on these road courses in the next gen car, especially? Well, I think you know my background before getting into NASCAR was was mostly road racing, and um, and so I always felt like that was going to be my my sweet spot. Um, but until the next gen car, that really wasn't the case, and I think. You know, partially because for a lot of those years, I was driving for smaller teams and underfunded teams, and we just didn't quite have the equipment we needed to to contend at those races. And so when the next-gen car rolled out and everybody has the same parts and pieces, I think it kind of was was able to fit into my wheelhouse and um, and be able to show a little bit more of what we could do. And and so we've been really strong. You know, the last two years, you know, the road course has been great for us, and and we know that, you know, Sonoma is an opportunity and Chicago is an opportunity for us to to win um and make the most of the weekends you know you kind of speaking to that point um this portion of the schedule here we've got a new race in iowa coming up you've got the chicago year two you got nashville you got new hampshire you got some very interesting tracks what are your thoughts on this middle part of the season it's, it's like going back to chicago i mean that, now that you guys have been there once yeah i'm looking forward to it i hope the weather is uh better for us this time um, I'm looking forward to going back to Iowa too. You know, I've, I've run there, you know, several times in the Xfinity series, uh, Arca as well. So have some time there, but you know, the track has changed so much. It's gone through a resurface. Um, but I, you know, I, I feel like it's going to be a great race in this cup car and we're looking forward to, to get back to Iowa raceway. And, um, so yeah, the summer stretch is, is good for us. And it's something that we we've known going into, you know, this time of year that this is, uh, when we have to execute at a high level, you know, we got to have pit stops and we got to do all the things that we need to do to catalyze on, you know, the speed that we hopefully will have. Speaking of um, new surface, Sonoma does have a new surface. Um, have you kind of talked about that with your crew chief yet? And what are, what are some things you've learned maybe that you, you've heard through the grapevine about the tire test that w was completed earlier in the year? Do you know any, have any idea what to expect heading into Sonoma? Yeah, I mean, I, I've been a part of, you know, repaves before and, you know, Watkins Glen and Sonoma, and you kind of have an indication of what it's going to be like. I mean, obviously, a lot of the, the bumps and, and things like that are going to be smoothed out. Um, the grip level, obviously, is going to be much higher, um, at least for a few years. And so you kind of know going into it what you need to achieve and what you need to do. Um, you know, the nice thing is, is that it's still Sonoma. It's still the same layout. It's still the same track. Um, just with the new surface. So you're not having to learn too many new things. Um, and there's not any, you know, changing conditions like you say you have at Chicago where you're going from, you know, concrete to asphalt, from, you know, off camber to camber to, and, and all those different variables. You know, it's still going to be fairly straightforward at Sonoma. Gotcha. And then, you know, on top of that, Michael, this year has kind of been a big year for front row. You guys have been elevated to a tier one Ford organization. What has that been like? Um, Cause obviously, you know, you guys have been really coming up through the ranks here lately uh, along with RFK. What's it been like to get yeah. more Ford support? Yeah. yeah, no, it's been great. I mean, I think that we've, you know, had good speed the last few years and, um, you know, this was the the missing piece, you know, for our race team to kind of take that next step. Um, feel like we're making that next step now. And so, yeah, I think that that's a big part of, you know, the speed and success you're seeing us have. Um, and, you know, it's obviously setting front rail up for the future for a long time to come, too. On top of that, though, this is obviously kind of your last year. It's already been announced at, um, at front row. What is it that drew you to Spire? I'm curious because they are obviously another up and coming organization. Um, I know stability is probably part of it, but what is what else drew you over there? Hendrick support, I'm sure. I mean, there's a lot going on there. Yeah, there's a lot of factors, and it's it's not just one thing. Um, you know, for me, it was just more having a clear vision of what the future is going to look like and in the path to get there. 
um, you know, the, the financial means to do it. And um, I felt like that this was, you know, the next challenge and opportunity for me. Gotcha. Um, you know, you're heading into Sonoma here. I'd say you're one of the best on the road courses. Um, but you know, like how important is qualifying going to be on this new service? Sonoma is obviously a track, a, a track position track already, but given the unknowns, how important is track position going to yeah. be? here? Yeah, super important. And and like you said, I mean, you know, track position is critical, but when you throw in, you know, a new asphalt and not a lot of tire fall off, it's going to be even tougher. Right. And so qualifying well is going to be really important. Um, you know, the race pace will be very different. You know, there's typically a lot of fall off at Sonoma and I, I'm not anticipating us having much fall off with, with a new surface like this. So, um, you're going to have to get out front and stay there. I think it's going to be very similar to Indy in that, in that stance. So yeah, hopefully we can execute on all ends. And then lastly, Michael, um, how important is it for you guys to have a full practice on Friday? It's a three day weekend where you guys practice on Friday, qualify on Saturday and the race on Sunday. How important is it to get an hour's worth of practice on this new surface? Yeah, I wish we weren't. Um, you know, I, I feel like we do better when when there's less practice and not everybody can get up to speed. I think that's one of the advantages that I've had in this next gen era of road course racing is, you know, I can I can get dialed in fairly quickly within a couple laps on a road course. And a lot of guys, they have to kind of get into the rhythm and find the rhythm. And, you know, 20 minute practice isn't enough for them to do that. So I wish there wasn't a long practice, but we'll make the most of the opportunity. And um, try to learn a few things and you know obviously with a new surface there's probably going to be some adjustments that we need to make so um yeah it's the same for everybody michael thank you so much for your time i'm looking forward to seeing you in sonoma um i'm sure you'll be uh, one of the guys to look out for it that during that weekend i appreciate it thank you